Hi everyone, this is Cyrus from iPhoneAppsFinder.com. Today I'm going to review one of the coolest app in the Apple Store. If if you are, and I have to add this if if you are a math lover, if if you care a lot about math, this is one of the coolest apps around. It's called Math and Mag Mag Magics, and its goal is to show you how to calculate things faster inside your head. For instance. Everybody can calculate two times two. That's not the problem. But when you're, for, for instance, calculating 25 times 25, you know how you get 625. It's pretty easy actually to do. But these guys show you step by step how to get it done. So let's get into it. So this is mathematics. Now here you can, you can try to learn new things a lot of people know the basic you know basic operate operators and how to do it but for instance 25 times 25 or 35 times 35 that's 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 the easiest thing you can learn and there are there are more complicated ones that you can learn here so there's a long list you know for instance how to multiply numbers as high as 19 times 19 or how to multiply a number by four or 99 or how to square up numbers from 41 to 59 and you can do all these with a calculator there's no problem with that but but sometimes for instance if you're taking a test and you have you have a limited number of minutes to to complete your math test and you have some funky problem with you know having to do with you know squaring some you know, 40 seconds squared for instance being able to do that in your head and coming up with the answer that that'd be great also you can also Im impress people with with your intelligence if you will if you can calculate numbers so there's so many so many things you can learn here you can learn division squares and There's just so much you can learn by following the tips provided in this app. I'm just gonna choose one. It doesn't it doesn't matter which one, but let's say multiply 18 by 11. So it provides you with step by step instructions on how to do this. Now step one, you add the numbers together and you go from there so now I'd be lying to you to you know if I say this is so easy right now for everyone you can learn it in two minutes which is why the pra the practice part actually comes into play that's where you can practice what you've learned and and you can le read all these instructions and think about ways to calculate things faster but if you don't practice you're not gonna get it which is which is really the point of the app. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna practice multiply something by eleven, right? So this is this is pretty easy because even even if you don't know any any other tips, you can clearly see what the answer is. So. Let's see if this is difficult. So this is this is where these guys could have probably done better. If this is a practice, so it's not, a, it's not it's not a test, so nobody's scoring you. But at the same time, I can I can clearly say that the first digit is going to be four. So when you have four not four answers and one of them is only four, I don't even have to calculate it in my head. So I just already know the answer to it. So I mean that's that's probably something these guys could do better. If, if I were designing this app, I would add, for instance, for this problem, I would put all the numbers, the first digits at three, so you can't cheat that way. Obviously, when you're practicing, you don't want to cheat and you want to be able to calculate in your head, but that'd be more difficult and, you know, it will take you more time, especially if you put the numbers really, really close, you know, 913, 923, 903. 
933. If you put them that close, then it's probably more challenging. So that's a, that's that's the part about practice. This is this is the part where you actually get to. I have to change the orientation for it to show well, show up decent here. So this is where, for instance, the sound. I don't I, I don't really dig the sound. I don't really like apps that make sounds because I like to be able to use them even in the library without having to worry about the sound and not having to worry about them connecting my headphone to my iPad so so I'll just turn it off I'm not connected to Game Center that's why it doesn't work but the option is available now let me go to the play part this is this is important this is where you can actually have fun with math and play. This is really neat. Let's say I want to play. Let's say I want to play all of them. Why not? So it's going to ask you, you know, is it, it's just going to ask you questions. so these are these are easy but I'm sure it's gonna get hard let's put let's just choose so I'm just gonna go fast and as you can see these are not really that difficult to do now I haven't gone through the whole thing. This, these guys have so many tips. I'm sure if I go and play this game, play forever, I'm sure there are going to be more challenging problems. But, but it tests you on what you've learned from the from the lessons, the the lesson part that I demonstrated a couple of minutes ago. The best way to use this, in my opinion, is to just choose the ones that you want to practice for instance you've learned five lessons this week and you want to practice all of them so you choose all those and then go through that and that'd be probably the best one the problem is still there you know I can I can still say the answer just from the first digit that's the, that's the only answer that I see here uh, and I don't really see any option to change it I'd like to see an option to change it it's simply not available But that doesn't really take away from the app. I mean, you get so many tips and so many cool lessons and so much practice you can get. If you don't cheat like I do and just guess from the first digit, you're going to be fine. But if you like to cheat, you know, that's that's magic too. I mean, if you, if you can actually get the numbers and use the choices available, the multiple choices, and just guess it, I mean, that's... That that's what you have to do during the test as well. They they teach you in the test taking courses how to choose, how to eliminate if you don't know the answer, how to eliminate options and come up ultimately with one that makes the most sense. So that's what I'm doing, but you probably don't want to do that if you want to learn these these tips and tricks. So let me change the orientation again. So there's not much to say here. These guys have done a decent job. This is a math app. I understand math is not everyone's cup of tea and a lot of people are scared of math and it's a scary monster. But these guys have put together a simple description of how to calculate numbers in your head fast. It's really not magic, just, just using numbers and their properties to calculate to, to figure out, for instance, what happens when you multiply a number by 11. And when I'm here, I can actually see the tricks and when I'm in, when I'm playing, I can actually, oops, 
I'm just gonna show something, but I can't see it right now. It seems I was gonna show you the stats, but but regardless, the app has a lot of potential. I'd like to make the answers to be a little bit more difficult to guess. But this is this is so great for anyone who's either learning math or planning to take a test that involves math problems. Simple, we're not talking about integrals, we're not talking about derivatives, things like that. Those are advanced college college level math courses, so you don't have to worry about that here. Simple interface, clean, you can see the description, you, have, you get the practice, you can see the lesson when you're, when you're practicing and you have trouble, you see the lesson to see how to do it and go back. The app is developed by the guys at Blue Lighting Labs. The last time it was updated was May 23rd, 2012. This is the version 4.0.2. So it's pretty decent. If, if you love math, check it out. And also don't forget to check other apps we have at iPhoneAppsFinder.com. If you want me to review your application, just just drop me a note at iPhoneAppsFinder.com. Tell me what your app is about. Not a, We can't review everything, but we'll do our best to get back to everyone. And if if we find an app that is interesting, we'll, we'll definitely review it here. Thank you for watching.